We're following Harry Shearwood, who is 21 years old and has moved to America to follow his dream of playing football. Harry's mum and dad are on their way from the airport to meet Harry at his college. So how many miles have you got now? 200 miles, that's expect three, three, three hours. And then the girls' soccer team are playing at four. And then Harry's playing at seven. So we've got a really full, full day. sporting day. Full day. <laughs> Harry's parents finally arrive after a seven-hour car journey and catch up with Harry at a girls' volleyball game. Is going on in the college. There's a lot more to it than people think. Harry has to train every day as well as play on the weekend. It's a high demand of fitness and is a dramatic change from what he's used to. During the season, we train full time, so that means that every day after a class is finished, about two or three in the afternoon, we'll all go back to our rooms and get changed and ready to train. Normally starts around four o'clock every single day and then we usually train until about six or 6.30 in the evening. Um, if it's the day before a game, we won't train as long. We'll finish early and we'll just go through set piece routines and formations and anything we need to know about the other team ahead of the game. With football and studies taking up most of his time, sometimes at night is the only time Harry gets to do what he wants. Sometimes I like to do a bit of my own training, like away from the, away from the usual pressures of playing football. Um, so sometimes I come down here to the field where we got a punch bag. A few of the lads use this during the off season, just to keep fit, but also not get bored with training football all the time so we come down here and we have fun on the back. Harry's coach Joey talks to us about his opinions on Harry's life-changing experience. He has an unbelievable amount of potential to develop and become a great player. Uh, he's great size, good speed, great athletic ability and, and a great touch for a big, big man. Uh, no. International players, because uh, they're coming all from back, uh, different cultural backgrounds, and uh, they come to uh, certainly a, a different culture here and a certain type of environment here at the institution. Uh, so I think it takes a while, and, and usually guys will transition well uh, uh, after a period of time. The person I think Harry's become much more comfortable uh, over the last year and a half here. And it's fitting just really well with the guys as a player. Uh, I've been really pleased with Harry this year, uh, stepping up into more of a leadership role at the back for us. And I uh, could not be more pleased with his development. Uh, so I'm really excited uh, to see what happens in the next two years that we have him here. Harry takes us to his room and shows us where he lives. A huge contrast from living at home for the past 20 years. As well as football, Harry has to keep up with his academic studies. Up early most mornings, um, classes start 9 o'clock every day of the week, so I have to get up about 8, shower, and then have breakfast before class. Still going to school five days a week. The balance of the two has taken a toll on Harry, and it has proved to be difficult adapting to the changes. Working on a speech I've got to do for one of my classes. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot of work. Like people just think that you come here and you play football. It's not all about the football. Um, you have to go to classes five days a week as well as playing the football five times a week too. So there's bad points and good points, but I enjoy. I enjoy coming out of class every day and getting to play football. That's what it's all about. 
Number five, from Bristol, England, Harry Sherwood. Yeah! Harry's made lots of new friends. He tells us what it was like when he first came here and getting to know people.